Hello and welcome to another World of Tanks video with me, Sir 10 Death. This weekend, the T26 E5 and the Patriot version with the pretty paint job are on sale again. And I thought I'd do a quick video to ask, is it worth the gold? So what's going to be happening here is there's going to be some footage of a game that I played uh, just last night. Um, that shows off some of the strengths and weaknesses of this tank and ultimately will help you decide whether you should buy it or not. It's a tier 8 premium American heavy tank um, and yet it's actually quite small in profile. Uh, I went for the Patriot version, it's, it's nice, I personally think it looks very nice, but I'm quite easily drawn to these snazzy looking tanks. And we're here on mines and uh, my decision here is I don't really want to get into combat with those tier 10 heavies uh, early on, so I'm going to head across towards the left hand side of the map towards the island and hopefully try and go to work there. Now what we can say about this tank is a few things worth noting about this. Firstly it's actually reasonably manoeuvrable, it, it, it moves around okay as you can see here. Um, you wouldn't call it a fast tank, you also wouldn't call it a slow tank, it's okay. Its specific power to weight ratio is about 16 which is not bad. It does however have some quite poor ground resistances at times which is why it can slow down. Now I'm hoping to push on as quick as I can but I'm already aware that they've got a T25 pilot who spotted me here and I'm going to have to take a gamble and I know that I'm going to probably take some shots here as I can see across. There you go, there's one going straight in because the side armour of this is not great. Frontally, it's as sound as a pound. I'll take another hit there from their Patriot and another hit. So this is not looking good. I'm on almost half health already and I'm thinking about trying, I'm trying to snap shot there. I bounce one and I'm already thinking to myself, I'm on my way back to the garage here. Things are not looking good. This does shoot APCR by standard with for standard ammunition which is quite nice it gives it 230 millimeters of standard penetration it is worth noting it's not really worth pushing on to the premium ammo it gives you an only an increase of 29 millimeters now what i'm doing is looking for shots there i can't quite get them and i have been spotted again i don't really want to poke over that ridge too much the frontal armor of this tank is quite nice particularly the gun bandit which is a massive 279 millimeters thick there's not many things in the game that can punch straight through that um, what I'm hoping to do here, I've been spotted again, so I'm just trying to get myself to drop off the radar. Looking to see if, if whatever spotting me is in this bush, but it's not. I'm not quite sure where they are. I'm not really sure what to do at the minute. Um, so let's talk about this. There's that 25 uh, pilot. Let's put a shot into him. So we're underway there. We're getting some shots in. It's got a quick reload, just over six seconds. Accuracy's not bad. It's 0.38. It's not fast. It's not. It's not wonderful. It's not bad. Aim times 2.3, which is also not bad, not terrible. But I'm now just going to work putting some shots in there, and then they've got uh, they've got a, a, an E5 Patriot as well that's appeared. I'm not even going to try and put a shot into the front of this turret because it won't go in. I actually do try, but it just bounces. But I'm getting some spotting damage because I've seen him and somebody else is shooting him. I've got quite nice uh, gun angles on this as well. It will have minus 10 degrees of gun depression, which you'll see going to work a little bit later on. And although the game started off pretty badly for me, it's it's starting to turn around a little bit. I've done a couple of bits of damage. I'm just trying to crest this ridge and see if I can get shots over there. Now there's their period trying to make a rush forward, so I'm going to try and get my gun down. Can I? Yes, I can. Pop one inside of him. He's also tracked at the minute. I'm trying to keep him tracked, but he's he's obviously used a repair kit. He gets finished off um, by a Conway with that big gun on it. So you can see it's got average mobility, uh, decent frontal armour, quite a fast firing gun, uh, but not great alpha. It's only got uh, 240 as a standard alpha damage, which at tier rates not exactly stunning. Um, but you, you couple that with its rate of fire and it makes it quite workable. There's that uh, pilot and uh, unfortunately somebody else finishes him just before I get a chance to. Now that he's gone, I decide to try and push on a little bit. And they've got a T32 going across the bottom. Yeah, he hasn't seen me yet, but he's about to when I put there. He has now, just as I put that shot into him. I decided to keep moving because if he's going to shoot me, he's actually very much focused down on fighting somebody else. So I'm just getting shots in here, I'm getting some damage done. The uh, the cost of these shells to replace are only 255 credits each, so this is quite a money maker. And when you consider that your options, assuming you want to train up a American heavy crew, now you've really only got the choice of this when it's on sale, or the standard T-34, the one that everybody on these dogs normally has, although oddly I don't have one of those. I never have had. Um, other options, uh, the T-14 comes on sale from time to time, it's a tier 5 heavy. Um, and once in the blue moon, the Mutant comes on sale. It was on sale a few months ago, um, and that's the first time of the years. I bounced another shot there from the uh, the AMX because he hit my, my very well armoured turret. And so I've done myself about what, about 1800 damage. Um, 
And I think I'm doing my job over here. I'm keeping people spotted. I'm keeping them from pushing this flank. The rest of the team are really going to work claiming the map. So I'm not claiming to uh, have a massive involvement of in this. There's that super conqueror. I really don't want to engage him frontally because I'll knock it anywhere near going through the front of his turret. I'm asking for shots to be put onto him because I don't really want him trying to close me down. Um, I've got a super conqueror myself and I, I personally think it's a very nice tank and it'll certainly be um, an easy meal out of a tier 8 heavy tank. So I'm just pushing on now, see if I can get some shots onto anybody who's been camping further back here. Uh, other things that I haven't mentioned so far. Um, yeah, generally speaking, it's a, a very average tank. Well, there's a yeah, third and spot on the hill. And because I'm behind this bush, I'm in pretty good cover. I'm trying to get shots on him, but I can't quite see him at all. He's about to be finished off by someone else, or so I think. Looking for shots on the, the Borsig. Can't see him either. There's a great big rock in the way. Obviously, I can't shoot through a rock. What am I even trying to do there? Oh, I've been seen now, so I'm, I'm backing off pretty quickly because I don't really want to be shot again. I've been on about 50%. Oh, and I've taken a shot anyway from the third nine, so I thought I'd got out of dodge, but I haven't. I'm now on very low hit points, so I'm playing even more cagey than I was. What I'm trying to do here is spot where that AMX has gone to. Um, somebody else is obviously very aware of the fact that Artie's in the corner. I'm having a look there to see if I can see the Artie. If he moves around, I probably will. Um, if it's the FV, if it's the bat shot, because that's a turreted artillery piece, he can't be swinging his gun around left, right and centre, and I would never actually know where he was. Um, anyway, so I'm still looking for shots here. I'm, I decide I'm going to have to look around this corner. Ah, there we go. There's the 30. He's looking my way, but I actually managed to snapshot that into his lower glasses plate and finish him off. So I've got myself a kill now, which I'm quite pleased about. Obviously, they know where I am, and I'm pretty much suspecting that probably the Borsig and... Uh, Others may well be looking my way at him. Ah, there's the, there's the Borsig. He's just been lit up as well, so I'm going to look for shots on him. Put around the corner. He gets finished off before I get a chance to. Still haven't seen where that AMX went to. Uh, still got a Super Conqueror down there. Although the game is pretty much won. 10-4 up. I'm looking now. Ah, the Super Conqueror is pushing up that ridge. Can I see him? Yes, I can. And I bounce that. Uh, Super Conqueror has got average side armour. Um, shouldn't really have bounced on there, but it did. That's uh, RNG for you. And the AMX actually hasn't moved. He's still sitting in pretty much the same place. He'd be ah, now there's the Batshot artillery. I get warned to him, and I'm looking for another shot to finish him off. He's on the move. He's trying to get out of there. Somebody else finishes him off. Anyway, who we got up on the hill there? Yeah, we've got... Oh, someone else has been finished off as well. This strasvagen has gone. So there's now only left that AMX and the other artillery. There's the AMX. He's uh, looking for shots on me. I try to snapshot him, but he's shuffling around. I obviously don't want to die at this point in the game, which is why I'm backing up a little bit. Um, he gets killed. I'm just joining the the rush to the finish now. Now this hardy's actually dug in very well, or so he thinks, but I managed to sneak a shot behind that rock into the back end of that of the artillery. Not a stunningly good game, a very average game, but shows off what the Patriot can do. This is a tier 10 game, remember? And I've still managed, in a tier 10 game, to do what I think is my part. I've, I've done my bit. Uh, as I said, I, I've always said I'm not a great player, I'm an average player. But looking at this replay alone shows off that this uh, is a second class mastery. I managed to pull in 86,000 credits and 3,000 XP. Uh, I'm very surprised to find I actually did second highest damage with the tier 8 tank, even after payments have gone out. I still made a lot of credits there. Would I recommend the Patriot? If you want to train an American heavy crew, I'd say yes, it's a pretty good option. It's really, it's either only this or the T-34. The 34 has got bigger alpha damage, but it's slower and it's more sluggish. Um, really comes down to choice. If you didn't need to train an American crew, there are probably other options which you might find more fun. Things like the uh, the Object 252U Defender, um, possibly the, the AMX-49 Liberty. But would I recommend it? Personally, I think it is a good tank it's quite enjoyable to play and it does make credits as ever thanks for watching please subscribe goodbye